So hello, welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Hey, guess what? We have some new people that have joined us overnight. So welcome to the new people. I hope you get a chance to watch the recordings. They have been sent to you, um, but I think you'll be able to pick up today um, pretty easily. So welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you that haven't met me before, I'm Susanna Mihailovic. Um, you can learn more about me um, in the email. I am um, the founder and owner of International Success and Mindset um, Coaching Company called Your Two Minds. I'm a best-selling author of the book behind me, Your Two Minds. Another book is on the way, so watch this space. I cannot wait. We are so excited. Um, and also, I am a top 1% Proctor Gallagher Institute consultant. So I'm one of a very few people that have worked very, very closely with the incredible legend, greatest teacher of human potential that ever, ever lived, Bob Proctor. And um, Bob Proctor has um, publicly said a number of times that Susanna Mihailovic is one of the top people in the world doing what I'm doing. So welcome, 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 welcome to you all. Welcome to our beautiful people, our beautiful members that have been with us all week. Um, welcome to our dear American friends. Welcome to wherever you are in the world, our beautiful Australian friends, <laughs> New Zealand. Um, we've got Birgit on the call from Germany. So our European friends um, from the UK, wherever you are, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I know some of you have been watching the recordings, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to do something very, very different. And also, I intuition told me to go live in the Millionaire Roundtable again. So if you're watching through the Millionaire Roundtable, um, please do join us. Any questions? I can't see your questions, though, because I'm going through um, Zoom rather than the usual platform that I use, because this was not meant to be streamed in a group. We just decided to do that. Well, I decided a few minutes ago because <laughs> I follow my intuition. But please do ask any questions that you have. Our beautiful, incredible Natalia, who's on my Your Two Minds team, will be checking um, your questions and um, she'll relay them to me. If I can't answer them during this call, we, I will definitely get back to you. I'm going to do something different today. Are you ready? <laughs> I love spontaneity and, and flow absolutely happens with living in the moment and being present now. So I'm not one that you know, we'll prepare copious amounts of slides. I make sure that you have the information that you need. But I also believe if you're not living in the moment and not really honing in on the messages that are coming through, you miss, um, you know, what people need. You miss the spontaneity and you miss living in the present moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very, very different. Um, and what I was um, called to do today is I'm going to give a bit of a, overview okay of what we have been doing up until now i'll give a bit of an overview of some of the next steps but i don't want to be doing all the talking so as i'm doing that i invite you all to either send me a question personally in the q a box or the chat box um, if you're watching through the millionaire roundtable post your question there natalia will be watching um, and she'll then transfer the question here so I can answer it. So anything you want me to cover, anything that you want me to go into a little bit more detail about in terms of the next, um, the past two days, um, anything that you would like me to talk about today, let's be spontane spontaneous. Um, you know, please put your, your feedback, your questions um, in the box and I'll check them, um, you know, as I, as I go along. How's that? I also have a very, very, very special offer exclusively for you. <laughs> so as a thank you for being a part of, um, you know, this three, four day series and um, to help you get into your state of flow, I'm offering, you know, people that um, that are ready, that want to jump on board my coaching program, an additional six months, absolutely for free. But also what I am um, offering uh, to people that have registered is um, a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me. 
Um, it's worth over $2,000. If you were to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, coaching session, it, it, you will be paying over $2,000. So this is exclusively for people that have registered. If you want to go deeper with some of this information, um, and also it's a good opportunity for you and I to see whether we're a good fit. So, and those of you that are ready to work um, with me, Natalia will be sending the link, or you can get onto my website right now. Um, or Natalia, if you can post the link in the comments, please, where people can jump on board. Decision is everything. So back in 2017, those of you that know me have heard this story. I hope it still inspires you. Um, uh, those of you have ha that haven't, that have just met me, probably have not heard my story. So um, my background is uh, senior management in the helping professions. Um, I've worked and, and also run, I, I, I ran a couple of agencies um, that work with families, um, vulnerable families, children. I've worked with, you know, refugees, et cetera, and um, have held most of my career has been in, in senior management positions. Um, the, the last job that I had was, um, you know, with a very large organisation here in Australia, an incredible organisation that did some incredible work with vulnerable families, with children, with young people and, and their parents. And for years and years and years, so I've always known my purpose. You might relate to this. You probably know your purpose also. Um, so, and, and I hope that my story inspires you so ever since I was a child I knew that this was my gift I knew that I will be a leader one day in this in this um, field um, I didn't know it was going to happen through the internet <laughs> or how it was going to happen I just knew that it was going to happen and I ended up getting a job like what most people do after they graduate from university and you know I thought that was the right thing to do and I had a wonderful career but for so long inside me that gut feeling you know that that feeling inside you that you know is gnawing at you saying just leave and do what your gift is leave and and make a difference in the world in your way and for years I thought yeah one day one day one day so I purchased every self-help book that I can get you know because because this was meant to be my purpose and it was my purpose and it wasn't until um, 2016 where that feeling just really started to overcome my body and I knew if I wasn't going to quit then quit my job then um, I knew that I would start to get sick so I made the decision in 2017 tried to quit the CEO called me <laughs> convinced me to stay so I stayed another six months long story short um 31st of January 2017 I left full-time work forever. I left a six-figure package. So I had quite a, a generous package in the role that I had. Um, and I was $500,000 in debt, $500,000 in debt. Now, you might be thinking that that is absolutely crazy, and it probably was. Um, and it was good debt. It wasn't credit card debt. It was, um, you know, debt that was tied up in mortgages that I had. Nevertheless, it was debt. And I did not know anything but having a job. I did not know anything but waiting for the paycheck to come through every second week. That's how I was paid all my life, every second week. So all of my adult life since the age of 18 to, you know, 30 years or maybe a bit less than 30 years, <laughs> I'm revealing my age, um, maybe a little bit less than 30 years back then, um, you know, I was in a job knowing deep down inside me that there was something more, knowing deep down inside me that my purpose was to help people break through their boundaries, their um, self-imposed boundaries to what was possible for them. But I procrastinated and procrastinated to the point where, you know, I could not procrastinate any longer. So I left a incredibly well-paying job with a great organisation and I was completely on my own, completely on my own. I didn't know, um, you know, how to start a business. I didn't know what to do in business. I had absolutely no idea. 
and it was exciting and I was extremely nervous at the same time. And then my paradigms, remember paradigms that I spoke about yesterday? They started to kick in. Oh, boy, oh, boy, was it a tough year. Talk about a dark night of the soul. I refused to get government payment, unemployment payment. I just refused. Not that it's wrong, but it was not the right thing for me. I just did not want that energy. So what that meant and the reason why I'm sharing Sharing this story with you, what that meant was that I was completely on my own. Okay, completely on my own, tiny little bit of a payout that I had, right, from work and $500,000 in debt. Someone that has never, ever been in business before. Someone that has come from a career where you do not accept gifts from the client, right? You were paid your paycheck, that was your pay. That's it. You do not accept anything from the client. But I knew that it was right and I knew that I had to make a decision. And my decision in some ways was easy because everything inside me said you've got to quit. But on the other hand was extremely difficult. If you can imagine being $500,000 in debt, never, ever being in business before. Okay, having a six-figure salary, safety, so-called safety. We, we assume we have safety in a job, okay, and I just quit. Just quit, stopped, that's it, no more, nothing. And then after that, I've been following Bob Proctor for over 10 years. I'd listen to him on the way to work and on the way home from work, and I would imagine that I would be sharing the stage with him. And I would imagine receiving emails directly to me from Bob Proctor. And I would imagine that we were friends. I get chills every single time I share this story and even more so now that our dear friend and mentor Bob Proctor has transitioned um, into, into the spiritual world. And... I get chills thinking that was a very difficult time to make a decision to stop your income when you're $500,000 in debt. But I get chills today thinking what if I hadn't made that decision? You see, I, like every single one of you, I believe even if you're confused and if you're confused, you please give me a call because we're going to get move past that confusion. But I believe that you're like me. I know in actual fact that you're like me. We might look different. You might not have long hair like me <laughs> or you might not wear the same colour lipstick or any lipstick, right? You might be taller or shorter or, you know, you might speak a different language than what I do, um, you know, different upbringing but I know for sure you are exactly like me. I know that you have a destiny. I know that you have a purpose. And I know that only you, my friend, only you can fulfill that purpose. You have a gift. And that's why the only evidence you need is that you are here on the physical. You have been given a gift of life. Because you, my friend, are a gift to this life. You are the gift. And you've been given something that will fulfill you, that will change your life. And it will be an incredible service to many, many people. They, you might never meet those people, or you might be like me constantly. Okay, um, we did a research study into my business 2019 with one of the largest um, corporation or not corporations, one of the largest businesses um, in, in Melbourne, Australia. And um, back then, two years ago, I had impacted 1,600 people around the world, right, just because this woman that you're watching right now, one woman 
decided to jump and pursue the thing that she wanted and knew that she was meant to be doing at a time when it was absolutely crazy to do it at a time when she was $500,000 in debt. Okay, that was two years ago. No, three years ago now. Wow, time flies. Three years ago, 2019, 1,600 people. We haven't reviewed that study, but I know there's been thousands of people that have been impacted because of my decision. So you, like me, have something that you need to fulfill. But, but it's not going to happen unless you make a decision. And if you wait until you're ready, if you wait until the circumstances are completely right, guess what? You're going to be waiting until you're in your 90s. Because what I have learned, and I actually reflected on this a couple of months ago, I, I, per- I made a big, another big purchase. And it was actually on New Year's Eve and I just made a decision. Um, and I noticed that I was, you know, waiting until I was ready. And then I just went out. I didn't, I didn't notice it then. I noticed it when I looked back, right? So I went in and I thought, right, yeah, like, love it. Let's do it. Let's make this purchase. Okay. And when I thought, I drove away with my beautiful partner, Mark, and it occurred to me, I have never done anything when I was ready, when the timing was right. And I had been waiting to make this purchase until I was ready. But the big things that I've achieved, I've never been ready Okay, had I waited when I was $500,000 in debt, not knowing how I'm going to pay that debt off, not knowing where the money was going to come from for me to eat the next day. Had I not made that decision when everybody around me, including my incredible Mark, right, was saying, you're friggin' mad. Who in the world leaves a six-figure job when they're $500,000 in debt because they have a burning desire and a gift to change the world. Who in the world leaves a job, a secure job, just because they've had a dream for years and years and they knew deep down inside that dream was going to happen? Not many people. You know why? Because not many people have learnt to make a decision. And that job that was secure, guess what? Just because of one decision, this woman has made that money in seven days. That job that was secure actually was a paradigm that kept me stuck. And one thing that I learnt that I have shared with you I shared it yesterday and on Tuesday too. I used to think I love Paolo Coelho and his beautiful, beautiful books and my favourite was The Alchemist and I'd read it and read it and read it and it would inspire me. But I never, ever ended up achieving that big, big dream because I used to think I took the words literally that the universe conspires to help a person with a dream. If you think that the universe will conspire to help you just because you have a dream, well, think again. Because you're looking at somebody that has made many, many dreams happen, not just for herself, but for hundreds of people around the world. I have testimonial after testimonial after testimonial, how life changes when you combine Susanna Mihailovic and Bob Proctor together. Well, what I have learned is the universe does not conspire to help you, not conspire to help someone that has a dream. It conspires to help the person that has the friggin' guts to make a friggin' decision. Trying not to swear here. Excuse me. I'm from Australia. Sometimes we let it slip. (laughs) I'm sorry. I hope I don't offend anybody. But I'm so passionate and I want to get this through to you because if I don't get this through to you, who will? 
Who will? You're probably in your 30s or your 40s or your 50s. Who has? Who has challenged you and made you feel uncomfortable so much that you finally change? What I have learned is the universe conspires to help the person that it has the courage and the audacity to make a decision and start moving towards their dream. Start moving towards that thing inside them that they've had for years and years. They just don't know how. And what I learned was just by that one decision that I made, $500,000 in debt, a really good job. I loved my CEO. I loved my boss. They loved me. They were doing some great work left a six-figure package when she was $500,000 $500, in debt. Unless you have the audacity to make a difficult decision, an uncomfortable decision, you will not change. You will never achieve your dream, full stop. I waited far too long for my dream. I waited until I was in my 40s, early 40s. Far too long when my first childhood memory was doing the work that I'm doing now. But I'm so proud that I jumped and made that decision when it was the most difficult time for me to make that decision. And guess what happened after that? <laughs> I... I was really good for about a month. It was exciting. I was nervous and, and then I panicked. Where the hell is the money going to come from? I never knew how to make money myself. Where the hell is it going to come from? What am I going to do? What a failure. You know that feeling? Have you ever experienced that feeling where you are in such a dark place that you wish that the ground would just open up and swallow you? And then you just could just perish. <laughs> well, you know, it might be funny me saying it now, but I was literally feeling that way. It felt like there was no way out. And then I heard my incredible mentor that I would listen to every single day when I was driving to work. Two things, two things, he said. One. Make a decision and the money will always come. So I made this decision to quit work, but I did not make the decision to actually make this happen because I was so frozen. And he said, winners make decisions quickly and change them slowly. Losers make decisions slowly and change them quickly. I did not want to lose for me to go back, even though people saw me as successful already, I did not feel successful. I felt like I was losing. I did not want to lose. So then I invested even more money at a time that I had no money coming in to get the help that I needed. And I invested way more than what you would invest to work with me. Let me ask you a question. You've learned a little bit about flow. We've only scratched the surface of the surface of flow and how you can get into alignment with, with easily achieving your goal. That's only a scratch in the surface. How much more would you get? How much deeper would you get into this knowledge and awareness of yourself if you had me for a whole year? And let me ask you another question. Only you can answer this question. Where are you going to be in a year's time if you don't take up the opportunity to work with one of the best people in the world at what they do, to work with someone that is known, not only great at what they do but has the integrity? I have the integrity because I jumped when I was $500,000 in debt and I made it happen. I'm not someone that has just started out that's saying, come and work with me, you're going to get all these great, great results. So if you are ready to change, I, I lovingly encourage you to actually be the change right now. 
because the universe will not help you unless you have the courage and the audacity to jump. If you are not jumping, and as my beautiful, incredible friend and mentor used to say when he was alive, if you are not living on the edge and you are not jumping, you are taking up too much room. The adventure in life flow only happens when you you can dream you can you can you know think about the goal all you want but flow ease and flow only happens when you feel the fear when you feel the discomfort when your paradigms kick in and you decide to jump anyway you decide that this is the only thing for you and you're going to do what it takes winners make decisions quickly and change them slowly. Losers make decisions slowly and change them quickly. Although it was the hardest year of my life, 2017, because I had some deep embedded paradigms that I needed to change. Today, I think back and I literally, you can see the hair on my hand standing up. Just thinking back, if I did not make that decision during a time that it was really tough and if I did not stick it through for the toughest year of my life. Because I tell you now, whatever you are experiencing, whether it's a challenge, whether you feel stuck, I don't like that word stuck because I've learnt it, you're never stuck, but let's use the word stuck because it might resonate with the way that you are feeling right now. Whatever you are going through, whether you love your life or you absolutely are not liking it at all, there is greatness inside you and there are great things, great experiences waiting to happen for you but they will not happen unless you change something inside yourself, unless you make a decision that ease and flow will be my life and I'm going to learn how to do it. I'm going to get through these paradigms. I'm going to get the help that I need. I'm going to invest time and money into myself to make this happen. What side of the fence do you want to live on? When your life is over, and it will be one day, right? We've still got another 60 years to go, but it will go. It goes quick. How do you want to think back on your life? Do you want to think back and say, wow, I'm so proud. I've given the gift of me to the world as much as I can, whether it's singing, whether it's investing money and showing people how to do the same, whether it's, you know, having your own business. We all have a unique purpose in this thing called life and you just have to look at the world where it is right now and the news that we're experiencing not that I encourage you to watch the news it needs you the world needs you and the world needs you to be aligned and and living on the edge and and living your purpose and tapping in to your full potential that's what's going to change your life and that's what's going to change the whole world's life. Do not tell me that you are small, that you cannot make an impact. Because if one woman that nobody knew about living in Melbourne, Australia, where there's 4,000, 5,000 people just in this city of mine, 26, 26 million people in my country can actually dream and not tell anyone about that dream because she, she knew people would look at it and say, who do you think you are to be working with Bob Proctor? End up out of the millions of people around the world wanting to get to know Bob Proctor and, and work with Bob Proctor. If one person can do that, I can tell you, you can do that too. You can do anything, anything that you want but you will need the help to get you there. As Bob Proctor said when he was alive many times, if you do not invest time and money in yourself, if you do not invest time and money in yourself, you do not deserve to win, full stop. 
That's not me saying that. That is our greatest teacher in human potential that ever lived and walked on this planet. If you do not invest time and money in yourself, you do not deserve to win. Okay. So questions, questions, image, Im, image creation, favorite way to create the pictures of your dream room. Can you please give me a little bit more information, Joe? So favorite way to create the pictures of your dream room. So um, so what I'm thinking that you're, you're asking in that question, Joe, is how do you imagine, how do you visualize um, your your perfect room, your perfect space. Is that right? So what I would suggest, if it is right, I'm going to start and then you can add, okay? Oh, there's another question in the Q&A box. Let me just have a look. Okay, that's a good one. Thank you so much for the person that asked that question. All right, so let's start with Joe. So, so there's a number of ways, okay? A lot of people say that they can't imagine right, which is not really true. They can't visualise. You know, when you ask them, they say, oh, I can't visualise. It's not really true, right, because you're imagining all of the time, right, because we're thinking images. Okay, so if you think about your house, if you think about, you know, your best friend, okay, images will pop up, right, okay. What I would be doing, but if you still find that a little bit challenging, I would start to write in present tense, how do you want your room to be? How do you want your room or your house to be? Okay, so if you can't imagine it, how do you want it to be? So you might say, you know, I want it to um, have a lot of space. I want round walls. I want it to be near a beach. Um, you know, I want colour or not. I just like white. I want my beautiful artwork. Um, and then, so write a list of in present tense, okay, how you would like your space to be, right? But most importantly, after you've done that, create the feeling of how it would be to be in that space, right? So, for example, if it's your dream home, you might want to feel like it is welcoming, it is warm, like you feel at home, Okay, you might want to feel that you might even smell. You might be able to smell the, the wooden floors. Um, you know, you might feel like there's a lot of space. There's calmness, serenity. You might be able to smell the aroma in the air if you like, um, you know, essential oils. Okay, so you're writing a list of what you want and then you are feeling how you want that space to be. Feeling is very important because it's the vibration. Now, your thoughts and your imagination are also a vibration. They're a very, very, very powerful vibration. But if you are um, finding it a little bit challenging to actually visualise, right, I would write that list, but I would also just ask myself, well, how do I want to feel? I want to feel opulent. You know, I want a space that's opulent, okay? And then from there, the images will come. Another way that you can do this, so the reason why you are not be able to visualise or you think you are not able to visualise because everybody can, everyone's imagining, is to get out of your head, right? So often we give ourselves, um, you know, messages and stories. And I think, Joe, you said the other day, you know, I want to let go of my story. I'm not going to visit my story again. So often we give ourselves, um, you know, messages about what we can or cannot do. So if you're going into this and you say, I want a new house, I want a new room, a new, you know, and you're trying to, uh, conjure up, you know, a visual image of that room and you're saying to yourself, oh, well, that's difficult to do, of course it will be difficult to do, okay? So what I would suggest, so do those two steps, right? What I would then suggest is if you are one of those people, I often have a candle. So there's my candle. Oh, whoops, I just turned one of them just... Um, it's okay. I just, the fire, the candle kind of just ran out. So I often have my candle going, right? And what I do is to help me switch off 
from my paradigms, from my thoughts. I have the candle going in front of me. I have, you know, my favourite meditation music. Usually I listen to Barry Goldstein. I was recommended um, Barry Goldstein by Dr Joe Dispenza when I... Um, you know, attended some of his workshops a few years ago. So I love Barry Goldstein meditations. Find what works for you, okay? And just close your eyes and focus on your breath, okay? Just close your If thoughts come in, just let them go out, right? So what that does is it slows down your thoughts. Now, you're never going to get rid of your thoughts completely. And the problem necessarily is not our thoughts, right? Remember, I'm not one that promotes positive thinking because I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible to be, thinking positively all the time because some of our thoughts come through faster than the speed of light. So it's not the thought that's necessarily the issue. It's the attachment and the emotion that we have towards that thought. Okay, so as you're breathing, as you've got your eyes closed, as you're tuning in to the vibration of the meditation music, right, and you're and you're focused on your breath, your thoughts slow down. So you might not be able to stop them completely, but just let them come through, let them go out. That's fine. Just thank them. Okay. And you're slowing them down. And then when you're in a state of reasonable relaxation you feel like you've slowed down you feel like uh you know you've calmed down then i would start to introduce some images okay initially and please write it down first okay initially it might be just a white wall or a, or a beautiful window okay but slowly start to connect to the feeling and ask yourself what would i love what would i love and trust the process trust the process the more you can ease into it the more you can trust okay now what we want to do is and this is where flow comes in okay what we want to do so remember the quote by albert einstein uh, albert einstein sorry um energy is everything okay and that's all there is to it that's all there is to it everything is energy full stop Okay, your energy, I'm energy, the, this computer's energy, my mug is energy, you know, everything is energy. Full stop, that's all there is to it. And all of this energy, we're living in an ocean of motion. So everything on the physical is vibrating, right? It's at, at massive speeds of vibration, and that's what creates the physical. So match the frequency of match two different frequencies, two different vibrations, and it must happen, right? So what you're doing is if you want to align with your room or your house, so as you're doing, you know, this meditation, you're also connecting to the emotion. As you're connecting to the emotion, I would be feeling like I am in that space already, right, while you're meditating. So your emotion is a frequency. It is a vibration. And the more you allow it to, to, um, to deepen and the more you feel it, it actually starts to vibrate through every cell of your body. There's a thing which is this is not the right time for this. I should do a spiritual session of flow. But there's a thing, and I know, Joe, you would probably know about this, um, but there's a thing called Torah, right? So it is the energy field. This is scientifically researched. It is the energy field around your body. If you've ever seen Michelangelo's, um, I think it was a drawing where he has that man with his arms and legs spread out, right? That is representing that person's Torah. Right, that's the space that you have in the world, and we are able to actually. Holly does this, doesn't she? She, Holly, is Joe's um, partner. We are able to measure the frequency and vibration that is moving through your body and out of your body. So, the more you can start to feel the energy of being in your room, the, the clearer the image is going to become, but also the more you'll be attracting that energy and aligning yourself with it and you will either create the space in your current home or um, you will align with manifesting the new home. What we have to remember is creation is finished. Now, this is another uh, maybe I shouldn't get people to ask me questions because I just keep going. Um, this is another workshop in itself and you get more of this as my client because you get to ask questions and we go very, very deep. But, um, but we must remember that creation is finished, 
right? So there's nothing that you need to create. Everything is here and now. So that is very, very powerful just being aware of that because no longer is your room or your house separate from you. No longer is the goal that you want separate from you, right? So what we're conditioned to do is think the goal is out here and we have to strive and work hard. Who has played with the wording work hard? What are your... um, What have you come up with? Are you seeing work hard differently? I hope that you are, and I'd love to hear um, what's come up for you. So you no longer have to strive and push and work hard and and resist, um, you know, as you're pushing forward to achieve what you want, right? Everything is here now. Creation is finished. What you have to do is manifest. How do you manifest so you align with it? How do you align with it? That's exactly what I've just shared, right? Through the meditation, you are aligning your energy with the frequency of what you want. You are feeling it like it is here now. You are feeling the space of the room that you are living in right now, okay? And persistence is the key. Self-image comes into that too because if you have a self-image of somebody that never gets the house that they want, that doesn't deserve opulence or a beautiful space, well, then you can imagine as much as you want but you're not in flow, okay? Creation is finished, right? Manifestation, the vibration and self-image all go together, okay? What you are assuming about yourself right, what you are assuming about yourself and what you are assuming about your reality makes all the difference in the world. What you are, and if you are persistent in that state of being and persistent in assuming that reality, because creation is finished, you are aligning with the frequency of where your room or your house already exists. And that is the state of flow, okay? I hope that helps. Clarity is the key. Okay, so I'm not going to say this person's name because it was sent to me in the Q&A box. So it might be because they would love to keep it confidential. But she says, how do you know for sure when you're aligned with your goal? In the back of my mind, I know that if it that if it doesn't work, I still have retirement pay (laughs) that provides a modest living as a safety net. Well, that's not aligning with your goal, okay? That's not aligning with your goal. So flow happens in complete alignment. So if you're saying to yourself, well, I'm going for this, but if it doesn't work, I've got a safety net, Um, And that's great that you have a safety net. I'm not saying go out and and do anything with that. Keep it there. Enjoy it. Keep Enjoy the feeling that you've got it there. When you see it, be abundance, right? What I'm saying is if you are saying if it doesn't work, then that's the energy, that is the vibration that is a part of your Torah, the energy around you, that that is moving out of you and connecting to the same vibration. So it probably won't work, okay? So when I left work in 2017, I wasn't completely aligned with my goal, but I was doing the work every day. And I wrote out my goal every single day. I did the work that I had to do but my energy was not aligned. My energy was one of fear. My energy was one of, well, you know, I can always go back to work, but I knew that I would just not like myself if I did that. My energy was just an energy of S-T-U-C-K. The hole was digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And the reason why that happened was because I was focused on the problem of not having money come in rather rather than being abundance and it was august 2017 so it took me a while right i i i I, you know my paradigms completely took over me and that's why you need a coach that's why you need somebody that has experienced it themselves and got themselves through it right don't go with anybody that says they can help you and they haven't done it themselves 
okay? That's why you deserve to have the best in the world. So you've got to stop giving attention to the thing that you don't want. You've got to stop giving attention to the thing that you think is a safety net. You've got to remember that creation is finished. And if you have a desire inside you that you really would love to experience, know that that desire already exists. So just like that seed that I spoke about yesterday, the Granny Smith, apple seed okay that seed knew nothing else but to grow into a granny smith apple tree that produce that will produce hundreds and hundreds of granny smith apples it did not once for a second move outside of that purpose okay remember and some of you are thinking yeah but that's seed but remember that you are a part of nature and the laws that apply to that seed are exactly the same laws that apply to you. So we cannot get into a state of flow if there are two different energies going on. Oh, yes, I want this. This is my destiny. This is my dream. But if it doesn't happen, I've got my safety net. Okay, two different energies. Okay, so creation is finished. Your job is to manifest it. So the thing that you want, the goal that you want is wanting you. It already exists on the energetic plane. And I also believe the person that asked this question has a discrepancy in self-image too. Your self-image, your concept of yourself cannot be separate to your goal. So what I mean by that is this is your goal if you're, and it requires someone that is successful, that has lots of clients come in, that, you know, is making a difference in the world, but self-image is someone, well, I can never make things happen and I'm not good enough. Well, guess what? This is going to win over this, right? It's not, it's not coherent. We need a coherent energy that's completely aligned with the thing you want. So what that means is you must assume, you must assume the state of having your dream already right here, right now. Okay, and you must assume that you are the person that is absolutely incredible and and um, and worthy of having that dream. You see, I I was listening to an interview by Neil Donald Walsh on the weekend, and it was just incredible. And what he said was. And listen to this very carefully. It's the third time today that I'm sharing this, which, um, you know, must be a message for all of us. So what he said was, okay, the thing that you want, the thing that you think is missing, right? So let's say money, for example, a lot of people feel like there is a lack of money in their life, which is nonsense because lack does not exist. You look at the universe, it's abundant, right? You are a part of the universe, right? Energy. Energy is abundant. You can't get rid of energy. So therefore, you can't get rid of of having abundance, okay? So the thing that you want, right, it's not only wanting you, but you must be. It's in the being. Remember what I said yesterday, right? It's in the being that you get into a state of flow. It's the being that actually manifests the thing that you want it's not the actions it's not working hard if you're working hard you're creating more hard you're creating more more you know hard work for yourself right okay you're creating the energy of hard so it's going to come back to you okay so if you want abundance okay be abundance be abundance even if you think that you don't have money give money to five different people lovingly right? So the thing that you want, the dream, if you feel like it's lacking, be the dream, be the person, 
with the successful business and give that to other people. Give abundantly, okay? So what happens then is you become the source of the thing you want. So if it's money, if money is your goal and there's a lack of it, okay, you are the source of abundance. You are the source of, of money, right? So what happens without even, uh, you know, wanting anything in return, right, you become the source is flowing through you. You are the source of abundance. You are the source of incredible clients, right? You are the source. So you're giving out. You're helping people. You're just helping anyway because you are the, the source of abundant clients. So because you are the source, it then comes back to you. Because you're the source. You can't not have any clients if you're the source of incredible clients. You can't have, you can't not have money or you can't have a lack of money if you are the source of money, right? It's in the being. It's in the being. And it's in the persistence of that being that you actually start to experience the thing that you want on the physical. I hope that helps. The person that asked that question is a dear client of mine. So if you would like me to go deeper with that, um, please, please, please um, ask me during our Monday call and we will go deeper and we'll spend as much time as we need to on that. Okay, so getting in the state of flow just means that you are energetically and emotionally aligned with what you want. Okay, so in the pro, one of the programs that I run, the Thinking Into Results program, which is Bob Proctor's program, you get Bob and you also get me. So you don't just get Thinking Into Results, you get a wealth of experience of somebody that has worked with, you know, thousands of people and managed organizations and been in senior management in the helping professions. So someone that's very, very experienced. Um, so we don't just do Thinking Into Results when you come on board with the Your Two Minds program. But in the Thinking Into Results, program Bob Proctor says that the internet was already here before it existed right okay so before it was here for us to use it was already here it was already here energetically and what we have to do is just align our vibration and our thinking and our being to that energy and what that energy then does, it gives you the idea for the next step and the next step and the next step and the next step. This is flow, okay? This is flow. Flow means being completely and energetically and physically aligned with your goal. And if you are truly ready to make that dream or goal happen, I invite you to jump on board Natalia has put the link in the chat box for you to jump on board with my program. I give you it six months, absolutely free. You're not going to get this from a top 1% Proctor Gallagher Institute consultant. It's usually three to six months that you get at a more expensive price. Um, but I'll give you six months absolutely free if you jump on board. So where are you now in your life? You've loved being with us in the past four days where are you going to be if you can be with me every single week going really really deep for the rest of the year where would you be in 12 months time you know bob used to say to me that and i used to hear him say this when i was driving to work before we knew each other personally i knew him but he didn't know of me he used to say if you join me and do this program, you will need a telescope to look back at your life. But you know what? I'm going to tell you one thing. If you join me after 12 months, you are going to need a satellite to look back at your life. And I know that because time after time after time again, I get testimonial after testimonial. We have testimonials coming in almost every day, every second day, thanking me for something. I didn't do the work, though. I don't take credit for it. 
okay? This only works if you put the work in, if you commit to yourself, if you put money and time where your mouth is. So I would invite you to jump on board and join me. Natalia's put the link in the chat. Natalia, if you could please put it in also in the uh, Millionaire Roundtable. Um, if you do want a one-on-one -on -one session with me, Natalia will send that to you or send me a message, please. Immediately we'll get you on board and you'll also get it in email. Thank you so much for being with me, for being with us during the past week. Let's get into a state of ease and flow. That's the only way that we're going to bless ourselves and bless the whole world. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, does the world need you more than ever. The world needs me for my purpose, but the world needs you for your purpose. We all have a unique, unique fingerprint, a unique gift. And together, if we rise, if we rise up to that gift, if we dare to dream beyond anything that has been possible for us in the past and focus on the infinite possibilities that are right here now, for you and for all of us. If you focus on that gift, you don't only lift yourself up, but you add to the vibration of the world and you lift the whole world up. You are so, so, so powerful. And please, I invite you to step into that power. Thank you so much. I'm sending all of you love. Stay blessed and stay in the flow. Bye-bye.